Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this lesson of Save Me The Trouble by Dan and Shay. Um, if you want to watch a playthrough of this song, it'll be the video previously uploaded to this. Um, okay, so we're in standard tuning, and I will go through the chords at the beginning first. So, we've got a bunch of uh, you know normal open chords we can go through. There's a few variations as well, so it's some slash chords, um, a bar chords, but some variations of those. Um, so, let's go through them. First off, we have our E major, so for those that don't know it, that would be from the 6th string, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0. We have an F sharp minor. You can play as a bar chord with one finger if you want. I'm playing with my thumb and finger dripping, but that would be from the 6th string, 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2. A major, from the 5th string, 0, 2, 2, 2, 0. Um, we also have, uh, well, a D sus actually. So if you take a D major chord, take off your middle finger, that's a D sus two. And we're gonna move that finger over to the G note here on the third fret of the sixth string. So that's a D sus two over G, or D sus slash G. Three, zero, zero, two, three, zero. We then have a B major chord, which would, if you were doing a full bar chord, would look like this. Um, but I would actually suggest not doing the full bar chord and getting some open strings ring out because it sounds like it works really well with this song. So for me, I'd be using my thumb on the sixth string on the seventh fret, skip the fifth string, and then go nine, eight, seven, open, and then slide that down. We also get like a, an A major as well here, which we use. Um, just in the pre-chorus. Okay, what other chords do we have? We have a variation of the A major. Uh, I, you'll flatten your finger for this one because we're, we're changing the bass note on it. So we're putting your third finger on the C sharp here on the fourth fret. So that's just an A major first inversion. Um, I think that is all of the chords in the song. Okay, so. Moving on, this song starts straight away uh, going into the verse, so we have the first four chords are E, F sharp minor, A major, and E. Um, now we're in 6-8, I wrote this song, uh, I transcribed it in 6-8 with a tempo at like um, 68 BPM. So I'm pretty much playing this in 8th notes and 16th notes. Um, so the strumming sounds like this, and then I'll break it down. Now, there is, I guess, no really like real strict pattern to the strumming for this. You can be quite loose with it, you can add in strumming um, and remove strumming if you wanted to as long as you're hitting you know some of the accents along with the drums you're going to be absolutely fine one other thing to mention is it's swung so instead of going one two and three and four five six it's one two and three and four five six one two and three and four five six that's the strumming pattern one two and three and four uh, as I say, you can be loose with it, so you don't have to do all the ands. You can even add some in towards the end. So you could have something like one, two, three, and four, five, six. One, two, three, and four, five, six. I think as long as you get some of the accents in there, you're gonna be fine. So we repeat that whole thing twice: E, F sharp minor, A, E. Do that twice, and then we jump up to the pre-chorus. This is where our B comes in with the open string. So pretty much the same the same strumming pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, down to the A. Now there's some there's I think it might be a second guitar, but I added it in and it went with the little finger, which is why I jumped up to do the B here rather than down here because it was easier. On the A, there's this little thing that happens. Have a listen. There's that melody in the background on the guitar. Six. 
Okay, so we play the B to the A to the B, and we finish on the A again. That's the pre-chorus. Same strumming pattern, so it's fairly straightforward. And now we jump into the chorus. So we go back to the E for this one. The strumming pattern again is, is quite similar, except I just repeat a small pattern the whole way through. So it's one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and so it's one, two, and three, and or you can go down, down, up, down, up. And I just repeat that twice in each bar. So it's E, then to A. Now we come up to the D sus 2 over G. Four, three, uh, three beats. One, two, three. Down to the A over C sharp. One, two, three. Oh, it should be four, five, six. Four, five, six. Back to the E. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll play that through again. Uh, in the chorus as well, you repeat it twice. So E. A, D sus two over G, A over C sharp, D, e, and you repeat that. We're still in the chorus, but there's a slight variation now. So we have the E, then we go to the D sus over G, there's the A over C sharp, F sharp minor. Some stabs here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, E, D, A of C sharp, and to the E. And then we come up to this part. And that simply is fifth fret on the fifth string, the D note. Play it, play the D string and the E string. Slide down to the fourth fret. Repeat the high notes, and then we're back into verse two. Now, for the verse two, we're actually going to be doing some palm muting instead, and rather than have the the old strumming pattern, we're just going to be palm muting and strumming each eighth note. So one, two, three, four, five, six, F sharp minor, four, five, six, A, two. Repeat from the beginning. E, two, three, four, five, six, F sharp minor, four, five, six, A. This time we're going to finish on an F sharp minor instead of an E. Three strums, one, two, three, and then into the chorus. Now that here, you can harmonize it if you want to in third. Now what this is, it's essentially like a little D major going on the fifth fret fifth string, the slide down fourth fret fifth string. If you want, it's five and four here on the fifth fourth string, four and two, two and zero, two, zero, and then we're into the chorus of the E. That chorus is exactly the same as before, however when we get to like the um, the end of it, it's slightly different. So instead of having those stabs like three, four, we're actually going to be playing just eighth notes for those as well. So end of the second chorus, we have this one uh, E D A over C sharp and then A. So one two three four five six one two three four five six. All right, and then we have the bridge. Um, this is where we have the three stabs on the E. One, two, three, and then that going on. So, three stabs on the E, and then if you want to add this in, you can. It's more, I guess, an electric guitar thing. It's quite hard to bend on an acoustic guitar, especially if you have thick strings like I have, some heavy strings. Um, but it would be fourth fret, first string, seventh fret, seventh, uh, second string. And you'd be bending, the, keeping this from where it is, but bending this uh, F sharp note up to a G sharp to meet the pitch of this string. And then after that, we go to a D, do the same thing, three strums. Now we're gonna go up the same kind of pattern, but instead of the fourth fret, we're gonna go to the fifth fret, five and eight. Bend again. 
go into the same pitch, and then we go down to an A or C sharp. One, two, three, four, five. Um, sorry. Right, so we have that little kind of turn around, I guess. Here, so it'd be um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Still, so we have an E for six, uh, for a bar. One, two, three, four. D sub so to G. Four, five, six. A over C sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six. A D. And now I like another bass line thing. Um, D, C sharp, B. So zero on the fourth string. We do five on the fifth string. Five, four, two. And then we can now jump into the third chorus and for the first bar, there's no guitar, it's just the singing. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I like to play this A sus two here, just one stab. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what that is, from the fifth string, you have a zero, you have a two with your first finger, and I with your third um, finger, or your little finger, play the fourth fret, fourth str uh, third string. So you let that ring out for the entire bar. Then we have two stabs on the D, two stabs on the A. Uh, in time, that'd be one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we're going to carry on with the break. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back into the chorus strumming. Now let me just play that chorus from the beginning because I realize it could be a bit confusing. So, no guitar at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 E, A, D sus, A G, A and C sharp, E. Back to E again. D sus, A G. C, D, E. Alright, so that part again, we go D, e, D sus over G, A over C sharp, and now C is D. Okay, that's the entire song. Um, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. If you'd like to get access to the transcriptions of this in Guitar Pro format and PDF, please head over to the Patreon. If you have any requests for some um, transcriptions, please drop a comment below as well. You can also request them on the Patreon channel. If you like the lessons, then please um, subscribe, drop a like, um, drop a comment. Thanks very much. See you next time.